Today we are going to follow the flow of the river and observe what nature has to offer. From the north of Lyon, we will follow the Seine River until one of its tributaries. Before we begin, subscribe my channel, like this video and enable all notifications not to miss new interesting videos about travels, nature and wildlife. That's the 1st of October today and I'm here in France near Lyon trying to spot some birds near the lake. My goal is to spot a, a woodpecker, so wish me luck. I've already spotted a kingfisher here, very good spot for him to fish. And also I've spotted some ducks. My dear nature lovers, I wish you a great birding day. Look carefully at the dead tree trunk afar. What do you see? Great Cormorant is a large seabird who likes to feed in shallow waters. It is really common to find it on high trees near rivers and ponds where they like to fish. All cormorants are great swimmers. Some species of cormorants can dive up to 45 meters deep. According to how heavily this cormorant breathes, he must have had a recent dive and now is just resting, gaining strength before a new hunting attempt. Now you can observe a mallard duck. It is the most common duck in Western Europe. They are easily recognizable by their white watered black or iridescent blue feathers. They are stocky birds and tend to live and feed in groups. A breeding male mallard is unmistakable with a glossy bottle green head and grayer plumage. They like to dig in mud to find worms and other insects. Now let's leave Son River behind us and move up to River Azerg, one of its tributaries. This river kept its natural shape in large parts and it's still possible to find some rare animals around it. One local man even showed me videos of beavers in this river. You can click the link above to see his video about it. We were lucky to see several grey wagtails along this river. It is a pretty rare bird who likes to hang around rivers. In French, its nickname is called the Brook Dancer 
and I don't think I have to explain why. Along the river, it is possible to spot some half-wild sheep. Their job is to clear all unnecessary foliage to keep river banks accessible. Without them, it would have been almost impossible for me to film most of the birds. One of my goals in France for my bird watching list was to spot some woodpeckers and I succeeded. Adorable woodpecker here. Male, so happy, so beautiful, just on this tree. Yes! Woodpeckers are playing an important ecological role. They mainly feed on insects and other invertebrates, living on the bark and in wood, helping to control pest trade. Also, by creating cavities and trees for their own nests, they also create habitat for other birds and mammals once they leave their nests. Autumn came to France. Trees are dressed in beautiful, colorful leaves, creating scenic forest scapes and uplifting the mood of the French people who take their leisurely walks in the woods. As soon as winter will knock at the door, animals must hurry to stock up before a long sleep. Not only birds like to live near water ponds. In this shallow water, some particular animals like to hide. A full family of nutria took up residence in a little island in the middle of this pond. I have to stay hidden and very quiet to not disturb them while eating. This hideout seems perfect for nutrients. The water protects them from predators and offers them a plenty of food resources to prepare for winter. From afar, nutrients look like beavers and are even called swamp beavers. But there is a major difference – their tails. Nutrias have red-looking tails, and beavers 
own flat shower looking one. Mallard ducks also live in this pond. They have no problems sharing a territory with nutrients and all live peacefully together. The abundance of food resources allows them to feed and grow well. And thanks to a hidden location, they are covered from hunters during an autumn hunting season. We continue to go up along the river, but often the spectacle is not on the river, but on a tree nearby. This little blackbird was probably attracted by blackberries growing nearby the river. And this little flycatcher is hesitating to eat this poor little caterpillar. But finally, he decided to leave it alive. For now. With autumn coming, the forest, as if alive, feels the coming changes. Bird thrills are louder and animals are enjoying long warm sunny days before cold winter. This hare is unaware that I'm watching him. Hares are mainly active during night and at dusk and dawn periods like now. The best places to see hares are open grassy and arable fields, particularly near to woodland fringes or decent hedgerows where hares can find shelter. If you want to see them, stay downwind to avoid your scent giving you away. In winter time, hares burrow themselves into the snow for shelter. They sometimes even dug proper dens with extended chambers at their ends to stay warm under snow. Shrikes are predatory songbirds with beaks adapted for killing prey. Like hawks, shrikes have keen eyesight and sharp beaks, but they do not have the same powerful talons. However, they are still called butcher birds for a reason. 
They impale their prey on sharp objects for safekeeping and for ease of tearing it apart later. At first glance, spotted flycatchers may seem dull brownish gray and, well, a bit boring. But watch them for a short period and you'll be charmed by their fly-catching antics. Thank you for watching my video and I do hope that you enjoyed and learned something new about wildlife in France. Drop your comments about this video and subscribe my channel so YouTube ranking will promote my videos to a larger audience. Check my other videos about France and French nature. See you in my next video.